Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Out and About with Mike. My name is Mike Rennick. I'm the team lead, the senior broker of Team Rennick, part of that grand, great Mangrove Realty Associates family. My guest again this week is Mr. Stephen Reed. He's the owner and the publisher of the Longboat Key News and the Sarasota City News. Welcome, Steve. Hey, great to be here. Glad to have you back yeah. here. Um, we won't shake hands. We're wearing masks. We're being totally COVID compliant. And you may see me looking down. I've actually been controlling the camera from this. Instead of using a professional videographer, which we have access to, we want this to be raw, uncut, and from the heart. So we will be bringing different updates to the folks um, from the aspect of the people that live here, play here, and work here. So Steve, tell me where we're at today. Well, we're at a, a new exciting site in Sarasota. Unconditional Surrender, which you see behind us, is a um, iconic sculpture that's been part of our bayfront since, uh, really since 2005, when it first came as part of a temporary exhibit. I don't know if, if people who've been here for 15 years or so will remember, every two years there used to be about 15 sculptures placed on the bayfront. Mm -hmm. And one year, Unconditional Surrender showed up, and it was yeah. a huge hit um, for so many reasons. I mean, yeah, you've probably driven by and seen the hordes of people. It brings back memory. It, it depicts... Everyone stops and takes a photograph, and it's really cool to see that. Of all, you know, when people visit the area for the first time, yeah. they want their picture taken at the base of the statue. I mean, two reasons. There's a patriotic element. It mm -hmm. depicts Victory Day um, in Times Square, and the sculpture was was computer generated by Seward Johnson, basically from a photo um, by Eisenstadt, Alfred Eisenstadt, that was taken that day of this sailor in Times Square. So it shows victory and patriotism mixed with passion, and those are two things that stir people, you know. And, and, and we're here though, so, and I've done a video earlier, a few, few weeks ago, a few months ago, about the history of the statue. But we're here today because the statue's in a different location. What happened? Well, what, what happened is what's happened all along US 41. People have seen the roundabouts going so They're in. multiplying, aren't multiplying, they? Multiplying, We go to yeah. sleep at night and we wake up and there's a new one in the morning. Like realtors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I'm that's playing, true. But they're coming. And so the biggest roundabout, the, the granddaddy roundabout, is the one at the base of the Ringling Bridge at Gulfstream in US 41. It was fought by the town of Longboat Key which rightfully so is very worried about traffic getting off the island. But the city and FDOT have done modeling with engineers and their, their studies show it'll move traffic as effectively or more so than what we currently have. So roundabouts take a lot more room than a light. As you know, you have to circle. And they take a lot more practice getting used to who has the right of way, they, yeah. when to go, when to stop, which lane to be in. Right? There's a learning curve. There yeah. is. So let me ask you a pop yeah. question. I was asked this on Facebook a couple of weeks ago. Who has the right of way on a roundabout? Who has the right of way? The bigger vehicle. That's what no. someone told me, yes. <laughs> the, so, the person who doesn't care about so, their car. No, I understand. In in Europe, these the are The person used in the right of way. Right. The person in the right of way. So it's all about getting used to it, but because of the roundabout coming, and there's already been three put in on, on 41. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because of the new one coming in, we are now, um, they had to move the statue. And the question was, do they just get rid of the statue or do they move it? And they elected Right, to there it. was a lot of controversy. Some people didn't like the statue. They thought, oh, it shows um, sort of a imposition by the sailor and in the Me Too culture has become seen as an, a sexually offensive because ostensibly the woman didn't know the soldier and didn't want the kiss. That's one argument. Other people are like, look, thousands and thousands of people visit it every year. We can't get rid of it. And art is supposed to be controversial and make us think. Mm -hmm. So what they did was they did a big quiz. Uh, they did an online survey of residents, the city did. And then they soul searched where to go. And they came up with this spot, which keeps it at the bayfront, centrally located, but really not in the way of the roundabout. And, um, and by note, just so it doesn't get lost in the shuffle, it, people may remember a big red metal sculpture that was behind it called Complexus. Mm -hmm. That is now over at the new Sarasota Museum of Modern Art, which is the, which is the renovated old Sarasota High School building on South US 41 between Sarasota Ford and Taco Bell over there. You know, okay, the big yeah. brick 
goes. So you can see that sculpture there, and that's an important piece of Sarasota's art history as well. So this is all part of um, the progress. Things are changing here in Sarasota. Um, we're seeing roundabouts, we're seeing buildings. Uh, but Sarasota, in moving this statue and electing to keep it, the message I receive is they still want to hang on to their past, our culture, our history. Does that make sense? Yeah, they do. And, and they're trying, you know, at the end of the day, some people forget the traffic side of the roundabout. There will be a big piece of artwork in the center of the roundabout, ultimately, like you see. And the roundabout will have beautiful uh, plantings and pedestrian crosswalks. The city's getting a little Europeanized with these roundabouts. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I think it moves the ball forward by keeping the statue, building a roundabout, mm -hmm. and then opening up another spot for art. I, you know, the, the, it's, a great place, it's a great place to live. I mean, it's, I agree. that's why I we're agree. here. I want to thank you for uh, taking the time to share your background on this, Steve. We'll be back again down the road with another edition of Out and About with Mike. I appreciate it. Normally I would shake your hand. We won't we'll, do that we'll right bump now. bump elbows. Let's do Thanks that. for so, having me, Mike. And those of you that are watching, thank you very much. We'll be back again with more updates down the road.